Yes, yes, I got it. Raptor, got it, man. Woo, that was close, y'all. I was, oh man, I'm so glad I came for the third day. It finally opened up. It's finally open during the daytime. Apparently it opened yesterday, like last night, and I didn't even know, because I was too busy trying to ride uh, Steel Vengeance and Maverick. But I got the uh, credit and I got the POV. Um, Iron Dragon now, so uh, Iron Dragon is open. I think that might be the only other one that I may be able to get besides like the Kitty Coasters, because Cedar Creek Mine, I think is still closed. And what's the other one? There's one other one that I'm missing. Um, that's also closed. Oh, Rougarou, that's the one. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get Rougarou this time. From what I've heard, it's nothing crazy, but you know. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon though. So I just did Magnum uh, twice. That first ride front row, whew, really janky, man. That Delta is janky as all get out. I can, I appreciate everything else about the ride though. So like the theming behind it, everything, but it looks so good. The trains look cool. The ride itself looks cool. I like everything else about it. Even the station music is good. But when I tell you, after the three hills, once you hit that trim, I, I would love to see what that's like trimless for sure. But man, those bunny hills at the end are just, God, they're horrible. But I did ride in the middle and it wasn't as bad. It wasn't, my head wasn't hurting at all. Um, I'm gonna try to do some other stuff. I'm definitely gonna ride Maverick and Sylvanians. It keeps going down though, Sylvanians keeps going down. So I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all gotta join Buzz Bars, $25 for the whole year, it's really good. actually works in the carowinds down there he's helping out up here though cedar point really cool guy this ride though <laughs> magnum Man, it a lot of downtime today. yeah it, it, we I, probably what about an hour honestly that was about an hour probably for us that, yeah. yeah but yeah it was nice meeting you man i'll it's probably nice ride with you later on he might get off early but yeah Oh, 
right here. I'm done. The riders on the platform, please take this time to secure me and all these articles, does it? So I did Power Tower. It's actually running three of them, as you can see. Man, oh man, I also got to do uh, the Cedar Creek Mine Ride. I did that, got that credit. I also got Gemini's uh, right side credit, and I'm good to go now. I don't have the only other one. Guess what's open? Rougarou is finally open, so I'm gonna go get that one. That is the last one I need. I even did Woodstock Express, that little kitty ride. It's actually not that bad. It's a solid, nice little first coaster. Uh, the other one, I can't get. I think it's like Wilderness Run. I can't get that one. The line is way too long. I'm not going to sit there and wait for that. I do want to get one last ride on Steel Vengeance before I head out also on Millennium Force. It does look like it might rain a little bit. I know you can kind of see the cloud coverage, but uh, I will talk to you on just a little bit. So I pretty much got all the creds I need. I'm so happy about that. Okay, all the credits. I got all of them, every single one of them. The only one that I didn't do was uh, Woodstock, not Woodstock Express, there's another one. I forgot the name of it already. That's how much it didn't matter. It was a kiddie coaster. It was way too long of a line and I said, I'm not waiting that long, but I have achieved every single one of these rides. That took three days though. It took three days and mainly because of all the flooding that happened the first day. I actually would have knocked out way more during the first day, but that's okay though. I'm not even mad about that. I'm just glad that I got to get to this park. I had three days. You really do honestly need three days. At least someone like me who wants to take photos, get re-rides, also experience the park without having to film. I needed three days. So I'm really glad that I had that experience and that time and the money to be able to do three days. I used, I went to Super 8. I uh, stayed there for two days. I'm gonna be heading to Kings Island tomorrow. I was gonna go to Kings Island today, but I said, let me just wait one more day. And sometimes when you wait, you get what you deserve. And I got what I deserve. I got Rougarou, I got the Cedar Creek Mine Ride. And what was the other one? I got Gemini Right Side. There was one other coaster that I think I needed to get. And I can't even think of it right. Oh, it was Iron Dragon. That was, it was already forgettable. Iron Dragon was, it's okay. It's, it's actually smooth, but it's super janky ride. Honestly, 
this park is just pure amazing. The fact that you can just walk around to so many different areas of the park and just see so many coasters running and be able to just go to different areas and experience different things, that's probably my favorite part about this park. You got Millennium Force at the front of the park, Gatekeeper at the front of the park, Rougarou. Then you walk to the back of the park and you got a nice top two, Maverick and uh, Steel Vengeance. You really just can't beat it. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. You can't beat it, man. Like, the only other place that has more coasters currently besides Energylandia is, uh, what's it called? Six Flags Magic Mountain in California. That's like the only other place that has more coasters than Cedar Point right now. And or Six Flags is trying their hardest to obviously get more coasters than uh, Cedar Point and call themselves like the roller coaster capital of the world. Now overall, my top three, I'm still trying to figure out what the number three is for me, if it's gonna be Millennium Force or if it's honestly gonna be something else. I think I'm gonna say Millennium Force just simply because the last rides that I've gotten were really, really good. Um, but Steel Vengeance is number one. That is my new number one coaster. So Fury 325 is out of there. Um, it actually was out of there after I rode Maverick. Maverick was my number one. Then I rode Steel Vengeance again for the second time. And that second ride is when I was like, you know what? This is really good. And now I see what people are talking about. I'm gonna try to ride today before I head out of here, but the wait is 90 minutes. I honestly might want it. I might even buy like a fast queue or like a fast pass, a single fast pass just to do that. I got my stuff charging right now, but honestly, this is a great experience. I, like I said, I think everyone should at least try to come here at least one time because it's not just about the amusement park. You can go to the beach. You can also go, if you're at the breakers, you can do a lot more stuff at the breakers, like going to jet ski and go on boats. You can, there's so much to do besides just Cedar Point. I will say though, the area around Cedar Point, Cedar Point put a lot of money into the area because they got their name on daggling near everything out here. Now, the one other thing I want to say, the women out here, man, they're top tier, yo. I mean, they're top tier everywhere, but I mean, I can't really turn nowhere without seeing someone beautiful and being single, man, you can't really beat that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Gatekeeper, I really, really enjoy Gatekeeper. I don't care what anyone says. I know I haven't ridden Thunderbird at a Holiday World. I haven't even been to Holiday World, so I'm not gonna know exactly really how that ride is. But I will say, as far as my first wing coaster, I really enjoy wing coasters. I like them a lot, and I can't wait to ride the launch version of that. Honestly, if King's Dominion got a launch version like that, I will take it. Or even just an X2 type of clone, that would be awesome too. Uh, let's talk about another coaster. I gotta actually look at the list because I've already forgot half the coasters here. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 I have a YouTube channel. I'll give you a card, though. Um, here you go. I'm just, this is my last day here, but yeah, I finally got to ride every single thing. <laughs> but yeah, cool, cool, appreciate it. Yeah, cool. One other thing I want to talk about is uh, Cedar Point's app. Their app is very good. Um, it's pretty much my favorite one here. It was funny because I didn't have the app beforehand. Everyone's like, do you have the app? Just look at the time. And I'm like, like why would I use a Cedar Fair app? Because half the app, Kings of Maine's app is trash. When I use theirs though, it's very accurate. They're pretty, they try their best to stay up to date as much as possible. Like when a ride goes down, literally five minutes later, it'll say the ride's down, it's crazy. So right now I'm looking at the app and it says Maverick is a 60 minute wait. Um, Steel Vengeance is an 80 minute wait. Cedar Creek Mine is five minutes, Gemini. And we'll go ahead and talk about Gemini really quick. I got the ride with it actually dueling and racing. I really enjoyed that experience, it's really nice. It's pretty smooth for the most part. I mean, there's a couple little moments that can be a little janky, but that's arrow for you. Honestly, that's the best arrow I've honestly ridden. Wilderness Run was the coaster that I didn't get to ride. Woodstock Express, that's a really solid first coaster for a kid. I definitely recommend that one. It's solid. It's actually better than the other one at King's Dominion. Magnum XL, no, no, no. I get why people like it. I do, I understand it, but it's just not for me. It makes my head hurt. Any seat that I ride in besides the middle, it makes my head hurt. I can't do it. It's just, that those last, like those triangle hills, can't do it cannot do it they hit it's like literally right after the trim like the first three hills are amazing but right after you hit the trim it all goes downhill rougarou very smooth i don't mind that that's the best conversion of a stand-up coaster that i've seen that turned into floorless best one so far corkscrew that was god awful that was right there with anaconda for me like i think it's still a little bit better than anaconda just as far as the layout but that was horrible the ending was really bad Millennium Force, that's the one, man. That one, I think that's gonna be the top three for me. So Steel Vengeance Maverick and a Millennium Force is gonna be my top three here. You got Iron Dragon, 
That one, I probably won't ever ride it again, but I'm glad I got to experience it. That was one of those rides that I've always wanted to see and experience it, and I'm glad that I got to ride one of them. And uh, I don't think I really need to ride it anymore. It's, it's, it's smooth, very janky, weird just ride, really rare ride. Um, but I could see why back in the day that was kind of a cool type of thing. Blue Streak was one of the weirdest wooden coasts I've ever ridden. Reason being, just the layout was cool. It was like the seats and restraint were really weird. The seat belt, the way you had to buckle the seat belt was kind of weird. Just like janky. Like it was smooth in one part and then janky in another part. That's I can't stand wooden coasts that do that. Wild Mouse was surprisingly good. Um, one of the better Wild Mouses that I've ridden. I still think Raging Cajun is the best one. Uh, other than Laugh Track or Wild Mouse at Hersey Park, those ones are pretty good as well. Uh, Raptor, I'm glad I really got to get the Raptor credit today. Raptor was solid. It's a solid invert, but it doesn't really do anything for me. It's super smooth, but I would still say I would put Afterburn, Alpengeist, pretty much every invert that I've ridden over Raptor. Unfortunately, I love the code scheme and everything in Raptor, but it's just not for me. I appreciate each and every one of y'all who kind of stood around this long uh, to the end of the video. I'll be heading to Kings Island, it's supposed to be Sunday, and that's going to be another vlog for another time. But until then, peace out.